Hey guys, Silent CL here. Welcome back to the Utah Macross update video. So today, if you find yourself uh, unable to play the game for a certain time period, no worries because the game actually went through some maintenance. Um, so during, I think it was noon in Japan all the way to 5 p.m. Um, yeah, so now that the game is back, and I did inform you guys that there's an update for the game on Instagram, so hopefully you guys have already updated your game, uh, whether you are uh, on an iOS device or if you're on Android devices, hopefully the APKs have been uploaded already so that you guys can get down to playing and uh, get yourself ready for tomorrow's event. Uh, so let's talk about version 5.2.0 and what Dana has actually implemented during this maintenance. Uh, of course, some of you who have already entered the game and already played around will have noticed there's a very, very big change to one of the main tabs. Um, but let's talk about the minor ones first. So, I, I'm not able to really physically show you um, the changes because I myself don't really face these bugs, but uh, I think some of you guys have probably encountered such problems. Um, so these are what Dana have mentioned. Uh, they have fixed the problems with this maintenance. So the first one is actually the pause resume bug. So if you guys have actually played live and you wanted to um, pause in the middle of the live and resume later, apparently the game locks you out and crashes so it kind of wastes um, your energy, your APs, whatever, um, you know, resources that users to play the game. Yeah, so that's kind of a big problem. So apparently that has been fixed. Then of course, there is the notification for the Super Dimension ticket. So, so if you guys um, have a whole bunch of Super Dimension tickets that are uh, technically about to expire, the game will technically inform you that you know the tickets are close to expiration and you should probably use it you know before they disappear. So if you notice that that hasn't been occurring, well apparently there's some bugs for that and it has been fixed. So no problem there, don't have to worry too much now about forgetting to use your Super Dimension tickets. So anyway, those are basically the minor issues that Dana has actually fixed with Wuta Macross right now. But let's talk about the main big change which is going to take up most of the video's time, which is the live tab. So I've already adjusted the volume um, for my recording device so that it doesn't pick up on the songs too much because, you know, music is copyrighted. So let's talk about this new live page um, layout which is now into the list format. So as you can tell you can now scroll the songs from you know moving your thumb up and down or whichever finger you're usually playing with <laughs> uh, on the screen so you can change songs. So um, we're gonna discuss everything here about you know what each of the buttons do now. Um, so first things off, let's start off with the top left hand button, which is basically the series button. So if you want to sort um, the songs according to whichever Macross series um, that you want to focus on, maybe you want to do SDF Macross, Macross 7, Frontier, Delta, and of course, um, you know, uh, the whatever side Macross series that comes to <laughs> the game, but well, apparently right now, there's only one <laughs> Macross Plus, so <laughs> that's kind of a bummer. Uh, I'm sure eventually they might include Macross 2, maybe even the PlayStation games, um, you know, all the other side games that the Macross series have. Um, so yeah, okay, so there's the other tabs here, okay, so let's close this down. So first thing off, the other tab that's underneath the series button, which is the 6 lane and 4 lane button change. So if you guys have forgotten that there's a 6 lane game mode <laughs> uh, As you can tell, I myself haven't been playing it because it's it's just too much of a hassle to, to try and yes, even though there's a lot of singing stones locked behind all this as well probably should be getting down to clearing these to get all the free singing stones but you know, it's, it's just the gameplay for the 6 lane mode is a bit unresponsive sometimes, I don't know. Uh, you guys can let me know your thoughts about the 6 lane uh, in the comment section down below. I mean, when it was first introduced, I definitely tried to play it. Um, it felt very much like you know, one of the old arcade games 
Um, and yeah, apparently it doesn't respond as quickly. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm slow. I'm, I'm really getting old. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, my response time isn't as fantastic anymore. So anyways, um, aside from that, so as you can tell, there's like there are four different buttons um, on it, on the songs. So you can tap the first one, which is your rewards. So if you actually cleared everything already like me, and you have already claimed all the rewards, so there's really no point in playing that particular difficulty anymore unless you're trying to improve your diva's um, affection? No, no, not affection. Uh, proficiency. Song proficiency. So yeah, then of course, the note is to tell you which um, diva's uh, proficiency needs to be upgraded uh, and of course where the song comes from which album you know and all the, the stuff that you normally wiki about then of course this one um, which tells you the enemy that appears which really doesn't matter because who will really bother <laughs> to go and find out what enemy appears in the Valkyrie attack phase most of us actually keeps the Valkyrie attack phase mode off because you just want to see the idols perform and of course there's this one as well which is the ranking um, so you can compare against the world and your friends you know that kind of thing which is also another thing that you probably won't bother uh, especially for casual players so yeah all right next thing uh, I don't really have to mention the, the difficulty modes right it's pretty straightforward just like the past um, then of course the details here, the, the highest score you've ever gotten for that particular difficulty Then of course the Uta rate So Uta rate it is really based off your high score as you can tell the first three digits of your high score is basically your Uta rate for that particular difficulty of that song um, Then of course you know the play duration, that's pretty nice actually, that's the first thing that is new They actually tell you how long the, the song is So yeah which is also a new thing that you can find in the filter system we'll, we'll talk about it later apparently I've got messages coming in but you know I'm here to discuss what's new in Utama Cross with you guys so let's ignore that for the time being so next thing you can tap here so the highlighted pink section is basically where you are currently at so the left hand side is basically your normal song listing so all the songs that have been unlocked and all that you can find them here the second portion which is your event tab you can tell today because it's a weekday there's only one event song that's why it's always Ixia, uh, Daisuki, Daikirai so yeah so in the past there used to be an individual event tab now basically this is it <laughs> so yeah alright so let's switch back to the normal then of course this first white button here which is your filter button we're gonna explain this this is gonna take up a bit of time but that's fine so the first section is pretty much the same thing as the old filter system um, so you got series song level high score Uta rate clear so basically if you have actually um, cleared the song you know um, that kind of stuff uh, it doesn't highlight I think it doesn't highlight perfect full combo or maybe it does Hmm. Yeah. Anyways, it's it's not a very useful tab. Then of course the amount of notes. So that's pretty interesting as well. Um Yeah. Then of course I think this one is clear, yeah. So uh, as you can tell they they will highlight all the songs that really haven't played yet. So um or maybe even have a perfect full combo, that kind of stuff. Ah, uh, okay. So that's the first. The first few sections here is really not that important. The next one, which is the brand new thing, which is the folder options. So if you're wondering what in the world is the folder options for, but um, it's actually pretty useful. So if you notice, there's this brand new star icon in the top right hand corner. It's basically your favorite list. So you can actually have this song favorited. I'm gonna add it to maybe this list. Uh, I'll put it as my all-time all-time playlist. There you go. So it will now be saved under all time. So I can have it um, only showing songs under that 
particular favorite list. As you can tell, only Wakure or Akira Menai is now listed in this folder. So that's how you basically play around with your favorite list. You can actually uh, unselect it and have it unsaved. Um, so that's pretty fantastic. So this first one is of course showing um, none of the saved list at all. So that's pretty nice. Um, brand new favorite listing. Alright, so this one I don't have to explain to you, right? Basically just shows you songs from that particular series of, you know, songs. And of course the full combo um, stuff, these are pretty old. It's not exactly new. So if you want to sort songs that have yet to get full combo, perfect full combo, that kind of stuff. Um, then of course there is the scoring of double S. Combo double S, clear double um, I think this is just, yeah. Uh, okay, so not important as well. Basically, if you are a hardcore player, you've been trying to PFC all your songs, these tabs basically don't really matter. Um, so yeah. Anyways, um, this tab is one of the new things as well. Um, so for all players like myself, you've basically unlocked all the songs that are in the game already. Um, yeah, that tab really doesn't matter to us anymore. But for new players, if you actually hit the first white button on the left, it will basically show you songs that you have yet to unlock. So the songs will actually show up in a shadow style image, um, kind of grayed out, you know, uh, image. Basically, those are the songs that you have yet to unlock um, for play, playable purposes. So that's pretty fantastic for new players, I guess. Uh, for old players, this selection is basically pointless for us. The next one is what I really, really like. So if you want to know um, whether the song is a long song or a short song, especially if you're trying to build a setup of episode plays on your divas for high score purposes, now you can easily do so. You can have it highlight all the long songs or the short songs so that's fantastic. Then of course you can confirm with these play durations right there, one minute and nine seconds. My goodness, I didn't know Giratic Beginner was such a short song. Okay. <laughs> so that's pretty interesting. So um I guess these are the more important stuff from the filter system. Now of course the last one lets you highlight songs that have like single diva units, um three or five units, you know, that kind of stuff. So that's pretty fantastic. The last white button is just basically um, sorting to top to bottom, you know, depending on your filter. Not that important. Um, okay, in the past, the S Live button was a separate thing. Now apparently it's on the main screen itself. So if you want to play the song, just tap this button. I mean, regular play. If you want to see a performance, just hit the S Live. And of course, they will show you the S Live tokens that you have on hand. So you can tell I have a buttload of them. So, <laughs> anyways, um, that's it, guys. That's all that has been implemented from uh, Uta Macross 5.2.0. Guys, is this new layout a bit too confusing for you? I think, personally, uh, I mean, I just managed to see it after the maintenance. It's, it's not that complicated after uh, understanding what each of the buttons do uh, just get to get used to it but guys as always let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below what do you think of the new as um you know the live tab layout is it really too hard for you to understand is it much easier is it a lot more convenient in terms of you know um understanding the song you know whether it needs to be a short setup long setup you know, and does it help you encourage yourself to try and get a better Uta rate? If you have no idea what Uta rate is, please check out my tutorial video. It's going to help you out, especially for Red Boss events. And of course, trying to gain those exclusive Uta rate episode plates um, out there. And until again, guys, happy gaming, and I'll see you guys soon. I think, yeah, another day or so. I think it's tomorrow, in fact, because the event starts tomorrow. So another gacha video then. Bye!